In this video, we're going to create a Google form where uh, any person can view this form and respond back to our survey. So we're asking some typical questions, their name, email address, what they liked most about the session, what they liked least, and would they recommend us to a friend. And notice here that asterisk means that it's required. So let's dive into this and create this form. In a new browser window, we're going to go to drive.google.com. You'll see all your, fi your files come up. Uh, you'll also notice this new button where you can select more and then Google Forms. And we're presented with a blank form where we can give our document a name. You'll notice it saves as we create our questionnaire and in the description here we can introduce our form. We're going to enter in our first question here which is going to be name. Google will try and predict what you want for a response from the user and you can select here whether you want it a required field. In each question, you have options to have a data validation and description. So a description of a question might be a note to the user. So here we type in optional, please provide first and last name. And their response would, they would enter in their response there. Now we can add another question. and it drops down below our previous question and here we add email and it predicts that we want a short answer from the user. This time I'm going to add a data validation. I know that every email address has an at symbol so I can choose from a number of things here number, text, length. This at symbol is a regular expression and we want it to contain the pattern at and we can have a custom error message for the user such as email requires an at symbol so when they're filling that out they'll get that error message until they complete that at symbol and we can add our description in this one as well where we can have a note saying that this is an optional field for them and let's add our next question This is our paragraph question. What would you, what did you like most about today's session? So it chooses paragraph and we can go ahead and add another question here. So this is like the other one where we're asking what they like least and they get a long answer text box. They can have multiple paragraphs in this question as a response. And then our next question is that linear scale where how likely are they to recommend our services to a friend? One being least likely or not likely and five being very likely. And we'll say that we want this as a required question. You can always delete a question. Here's that delete button. Um, so we got our form pretty much ready to go here. Let's take a look at this. So we can select the preview button and this brings up 
what the viewer would see. And you notice uh, the address ends in view form and we see this pencil icon because we're signed into our Google account. And it notes to the user that anything with an asterisk is a required question such as our last question here. So let's fill this form out. And notice here our custom error message, email requires an at symbol. So once we type in that at zastec.net, it clears that error message out. And here I'm just going to add a little bit longer of a response to just show. You can have multiple paragraphs, just push the enter key and it'll let you advance to the next paragraph. And here, didn't like that there was no coffee, but that didn't impact our, our response to get a friend. <laughs> So now it says your response has been recorded and um, a link that they can submit another response. And those responses come into the sheet here, but we can create a Google Sheet now for those responses that get filled out by this form. So it typically calls it the name and then in brackets says responses and it creates this spreadsheet here and our questions have been populated into the spreadsheet. I'm just going to adjust this here so that we can see the full question. And you'll notice all those responses just go in each row below each other. Now I want to change, have a custom message here instead of just your response has been recorded. So you can select the gear and then in presentation here it shows that link so that they can submit another response and that's optional. And this is where we can enter in our custom confirmation message. And save this. So let's fill out this form again. This time it's John Doe. And he's not going to leave an email. Uh, he just didn't like that the coffee was cold. And he gave us a two. So we'll submit this. And here's our custom response. Notice here with our two responses, it gives our name, all the people who have given us their name, everyone who's given us their email, their responses. And notice here the two responses under the today's session, what they like least. And we get a nice graph chart showing um, what the votes were for that linear question. Now let's jazz up our form with a theme or you can change any color like this or this picture icon representing the themes for Google Forms that you can use. You can upload your own photo or you can choose from a number of templates that are provided here. There's just there's so many in here. have these groups here that you can choose from. I'm going to use our picture.
picture here. This one looks good. And we'll select this one. And you'll notice it redesigns it, kind of changes the color to match. Next, we want to allow anyone to respond to this. Uh, there are several options here that you can choose. Uh, for now, we're going to allow this to be anonymous. Um, whereas if we collect email addresses, each user has to have a Google account that they're going to sign into for first. Um, but if we want this completely anonymous, uh, we're going to uncheck mark this box, which means that only people in my company can fill out this form when this check when this box is checked. So we want to allow any user to be able to submit as many as they want. And there are some options that they can edit after they submit or they can see the responses. But we'll just save this. And we've got our form pretty much ready as we had it um, in the preview of, of this video. Take a look at this uh, form. This is the form file ID. And when it ends in a slash view form, that's the public facing address that you can give out to people. So typically, I will copy this link and paste it in an email. I'm just going to compose an email here just to show you how I introduce the form to people and uh, insert that link. You can always keep this message in your draft. Just don't put any recipients and you can keep your subject line as the draft title and the body is just something that you might copy and paste in in emails for for the next time you might use this form you could also embed this in your website um, but typically people end up emailing forms when they want somebody to fill out it say a survey so let's click this link icon and this is where we would paste in our Google form view form URL. So we would put that in the to what URL should this link go text box. Make sure it starts with the HTTPS and ends in the view form. Then you can send that off to whoever you like. So when they get this message, they would see it similar. And when they click on the link, voila. Another tip is to shorten the U URL. And Google has this Google shortener link service where you can also just paste that form URL and click the shorten URL button and it makes that link into this sm much smaller link so if anybody was to type that say into their mobile device they would be able to bring up that Google form directly so here I'll just show you in my browser in an incognito window You see the address is that long ad URL that they end up getting to. But then they can see your live form. And you can go ahead and change these questions when they go back to this link. Uh, they'll see the most recent revision of this 
as long as it's the same URL that you're editing. There you go. I hope this was helpful in creating more Google Forms. Please be sure to give me any comments or likes in the video and check out for more helpful links in the description below. Thanks for watching.